Hello there, how is going lads? This video is brought to you by SwiftCat. So what I'm going to make in this video is uh, we're just trying to implement a local notification center uh, by using Swift itself and it's not with the integration like a Firebase or anything other platform. I'm just going to build up the notification locally within the application by using the notification center. So what I'm expecting is something like uh, it will be like this. How is the notification like as it take of uh, this local notification is confirmed as it robot is going to launch in 2014. Something like this. We're trying to implement this in this video. All right, let's jump into it. So I have my Xcode project already created. There is nothing else. Only with the main storyboard, there is a button there and nothing else. Okay, so I'm going to implement this. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a function which is to set uh, internal mock uh, notification, whatever. And uh, inside that notification, I'm going to write a few steps of code. That's it. So let uh, I'm going to write it as let center is equal to you uh, and user notifications and. Uh, current and then I'm going to write let uh, content equal to un notification uh, mutable Mutif mutable notification content then I'm going to write the content uh, what's that it's for the title and the message so i'm going to write this title let it be uh let it be a z tech awful and i'm going to you can write the title whatever based on your requirement i'm going to give the party of this uh, notification so let me type this this okay notification is to confirm new course all right so I just made a body content like this. All right. So the this local notification is to confirm new robotic courses is going to lose start in 2024 by SwiftCat. Okay. I'm going to next give the content dot sound. Sorry, sound, and that will be equal to dot defaults. And then content dot uh, user info. Let it be something like the the value and some some a lot of stuff this is about actually passing the data or a value kind of thing so let it be a value and i'm going to build this something like data web. this is the data which uh, if we need uh, we want to pass it to the what you call it uh, to the application all right and then then let me give the fire date this is about this is about uh, what do you call it? We are going to set a separate time or the calendar where when where and when we need to trigger this uh, notification. So that is a uh, this is a calendar dot current dot data date and component date components. So inside this date components, so uh, I need to do the day day everything else. So let it be. The day of today and a month. This is the month where we want to send this notification and the year or these parts. And also, it's based on the uh, hour, minute, everything else, also. So, let it be hour and uh, dots for minutes and sorry, set minutes. And then goes the seconds, I guess. Yes, great. And from date. Uh, it's when you need to trigger and from when so from today if I need to pass a notification after five days so I want to set like that so right now I'm not good going I just want to show it uh, currently now itself so what I'm going to do is add 
time interval and let me say I'm just going to say like uh, three seconds for now because uh, I just a live demo all right so then I'm just going to let uh, trigger I want to trigger this notification so you and count calendar notification trigger with the date matching date matching repeat if I want to repeat you can do the repeat as well so fire date and uh, repeat say false all right and 10 um let uh, request i'm going to request this guy to call this notification all right so notification request uh, then i'm going to set an identifier and the content everything else so identifier let me say it is reminder and content the content is the content which i have set there in the above and then about the trigger the trigger the condition which i have written about self the trigger so okay about the matching time i will take else and then um and it'll be center dot so if i want to have an error just checking whether in case it caught any error so let me say that at request and inside that i have few stuff which is about the error handling code stuff so error in and if error error uh, I won't say that if it is not null I'm going to print this all right print so this will be the error from where we are going to get it so let me say error equal to error with a catch there dot localized description all right okay so this is and then I'm going to hear me dot uh, storyboard and I'm going to give an IP outlet for this because uh, I want to trigger this notification when I click on this button so I uh, just click that press control and drag it over here and then it as send notification tapped whatever and then let me give some space over here all right and then I want to do that set internal not notification that's its symbol so we are going to trigger when the user clicks on the button all right then uh, then related to few stuff uh, which I'm going to do for, uh, for uh, the, the user permission kind of stuff so I'm going to the app delegate and say that uh, let me import and uh, notification sender all right and then inside this uh, did launch I'm going to ask the user whether he wants to allow the notification or something like that so I'm setting the user notification sender dot current and then on uh, sender dot delegate also I'm starting the delegate process uh, just trigger the stuff and everything else and then here I'm going to write un user notification request sorry un notification sender dot uh, current dot request authorization request authorization so here I'm going to request the authorization with the completion handler so here in the completion uh, what I'm going to do request authorization and I don't want this part with the options completion let me type it. options I'm going to do the options dot alert dot sound and close this guy I'm going to handle this the other part over here which is having the accepted and also rejected part so accepted error In, in this part if etc 
accept it. This is the case where the notification gets uh, access uh, denied in case if the user. All right. So what's the error here? Mm, delegate dot serve. I have to. All right. Then I need to do what else? So if I can, I can add as few more stuff. If the notification like function, like a user notification center, will present all these things like a lot of stuff. So with present handler, and let me say the completion handler with uh, alert on all these things like a uh, dot uh, alert dot uh, patch. And also talks uh, with the sound. There we go. That's it. And there is uh, also one other thing like uh, user notification did receive kind of stuff. The user notification did receive with completion handler. So here I can just check with the completion handler whether it's completed or not, or else the status of the thing. All right, that's it. Uh, Seems like good everything else, so let me run and try. I'm going to connect the phone over here. Okay. The application seems running. So what we have done so far, it's about the notification, right? So is it running? Yes, it's running. All right, let me wait for this. Alert was deprecated. Mm -hmm. So here I have the local notification. I would like to send you a notification. I'm saying yes. Okay, yeah. So I'm going to click on this button like a send notification. I'm going to tap on that and let it go background. Here we go. I have this notification, this local notification. Yeah, here we go. That's it. Simple. So this is about uh, local notification, which I have implemented within the app, app without any third party integration or anything else. So this can be used as a for a more correct or even purposes. All right, so that's all in this video. Uh, thank you for watching. And if you have uh, issues like uh, if the notification is not working after one time, you just uh, switch off the phone and try to turn it on again, and then again try, maybe it will work. All right, so thank you lads. See you in the next video.